Hello and welcome to this week's 7 Days of Science. Hello? Hello? Right, so this week we're starting off with some space news. A UK satellite has started making high definition movies of the planet's surface from 505,000 metres up. This technology allows for more accurate and detailed 3D models to be made of the Earth's surface. Some sadder news has surfaced unfortunately. A new study on the 2016 marine heatwave has been published and it reveals that these marine heatwaves have a significant negative effect on the Great Barrier Reef. 3,863 individual reefs were surveyed, and in some cases it was found that 90% of the coral died through bleaching. On perhaps more of a positive twist, only 29% of the communities were affected. This still, however, is a significant amount of coral. A meteorite bearing diamonds inside it that crashed on Earth in 2008 came from a lost planet in the solar system, a study suggests. Around the size of Mercury or Mars, it would have broken apart billions of years ago, during the birthing stages of our solar system. It reinforces the theory that today's planets were forged from tens of large protoplanets. A recent paper has been published that seems to indicate that supposed preserved circulatory and nervous systems from fossils in China are not what they first said to be. The fossils we're talking about here are 520 million years old, so it's incredible to think that such soft tissues could have been preserved for so long. However, this new study finds that they are in fact most likely biofilms, so not quite as incredible as first thought. A vulture that was raised by two gay male vultures in Amsterdam Royal Zoo has been released. The two male vultures were in a long-term relationship and raised the griffin vulture chick together until it was fit enough to be released into the wild under a conservation project called Life Under Griffin Wings. The oldest known baleen whale has just been discovered and is now recognised from fossilised remains uncovered in New Zealand. This animal, newly named Topahoita? Top, oh, I don't know, it's this. Offers some important support for working out when the baleen whales diverge from the tooth whales. A study in 2015 using genetic evidence estimated they were separated around 34 million years ago, and this new species is thought to be around 27.5 million years old, so it's certainly consistent with this divergence time. The study also suggests that the earliest complete toothless baleen bearing whales were most likely generalist feeders. It would appear that the success of the first dinosaurs, as well as the success of a number of other major lineages, was largely due to an extinction event that took place early on the Triassic period. A new study by authors from Italy and England has shown that the point at which early dinosaurs exploded in diversity occurred at the same time as the Carney and Pluvial episode, a period of climate change that resulted in the extinction of various different organisms. It was caused by volcanic eruptions in Canada that led to surges of global warming and acid rain, bringing about the deaths of many organisms. However, it seems that these changes also actually cleared the path for dinosaurs to diversify, as well as allowing the success of reptile groups such as crocodiles and lizard, in addition to the early mammals. I think that's about it for this week. Thank you very much for listening to 7 Days of Science and we'll see you on Sunday.